condolences to the family, friends, and relatives of the third president of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, as the country mourns the third president, we should always remember that he was a father, he was an uncle, he was a grandfather, he was also a great grandfather to many. So I take this opportunity to convey the message to the family and friends. Honorable Speaker, I had an opportunity to interact with the third president, Honorable Speaker, at a tender age when I was at the university. Honorable Speaker, in the year 1998, Honorable Speaker, when our member of parliament, the late Munene Kairo, passed on, I decided to vie as a member of parliament, Honorable Speaker, in 1998. And I remember, Honorable Speaker, the third president inviting us, because he was the chairman of DP, inviting us for a meeting with all the aspirants who are contesting for the Kenyan parliamentary seat. And I remember him asking me, young man, you seem that you are a young man and you are contesting for this seat, but we are beseeching you because you still have a lot of time and um, bright future in front, uh, ahead of you. Uh, I beseech you, that time calling me Matenge, that a time will come when you will be elected as a member of parliament. So consensus, honorable speaker, did not just start the other day. There was consensus and we agreed that uh, we were to support uh, uh, Dr. Chris Murugaru. And for sure we supported Dr. Chris Murugaru, who became the MP for Kenny. Honorable speaker, 20, 15 years later, I was elected as a member of parliament for Kenny because I listened to him. Honorable speaker, I want to say that uh, the leader that we are bidding for farewell today has many hearts, has many uh, attributes, has many virtues, Honorable Speaker, and maybe to just highlight a few, one of them being humility. We all remember that when the third president was serving as a vice president and also as a minister in the Kanu government, there are many times when he was humiliated. There were times that he was actually demoted from the vice presidency taken to the Ministry of Health. He did not abscore duty. He continued serving the country because he knew in any opportunity that you are given, he used to say, Honorable Speaker, that when you are given an opportunity to serve, you are given an opportunity to serve, not to enrich yourself. Honorable Speaker, the third president detested lazy people. The third president, Honorable Speaker, detested corruption. And Honorable Speaker, if you remember, during his tenure as the third president, when there were allegations of corruption, even with his closest friend, they were actually dropped from the cabinet. Honorable Speaker, that is the kind of leader, Honorable Speaker, that we will forever remember. Honorable Speaker, free education, the free primary education, Honorable Speaker, is something that will be, remain in, uh, in our hearts, Honorable Speaker. There are many people, there are many students that have now, I have come across Honorable Speaker who said, were it not for his intervention, they would not have gone through the primary education. Honorable Speaker, our farmers will never forget Honorable Mwai Kibaki, because new KCC, when KCC had been taken over by private individuals, when he took over power, he reverted that uh, uh, corporation back to the farmers. And now the farmers are happy about uh, the milk and the prices that they are getting. Honorable Speaker, we from the mountain can, no, can never uh, forget what he did in terms of uh, the road infrastructure. Remembering the, the Thika Superhighway, we all know the kind of jam that we used to have, you know, clogging all the way, the entire Thika Road. And of course, with the coming up of the Thika Superhighway, definitely, even the land, the value, the, the value of land in our areas also improved. Honorable Speaker, we can say a lot about the former president, but to say the least, Honorable Speaker, is to say that we need to learn from all the virtues that the, the third president instilled to us. And if we forget all of them, we should just remember that he detested lazy people, he detested people who are uh, involved in corruption, and he encouraged us to work hard. He is the one, Honorable Speaker, who moved from our economy, from down there, Honorable Speaker, to now a thriving economy. Those are the lessons that we need to learn from uh, the third president. May his soul less internal peace. Thank you.